Guys, what a game that just was. Arsenal and Newcastle putting on probably one of the best games of the season. Arsenal coming out 2-0 victors. That game had everything. It was back and forth. It was extremely chippy. Newcastle were playing overly aggressive. Arsenal weren't backing down, though. Arsenal, I mean, Newcastle and Arsenal, I never thought I would say that they are two of the best teams in the Premier League currently. Obviously, both teams with history, but... Over the past few years, they've been really bad. They've been mediocre. They've been trying to get back to the levels that they once were. And this season, they've put on tremendous performances. This was another. Newcastle are seriously a threat. Their attacking line is nothing to be messed with. Isak, Callum Wilson, even Jacob Murphy. And they can bring on players like Almiron. They can bring on players like St. Maximin. And their midfield is strong. Arsenal today, though, I mean, let's just be real. They have more experience. They have... Better players that are equipped for the position that they're in. They need to keep challenging Manchester City. And they did it. You know, like, hats off to Arsenal. Hats off to Arsenal because last season, the season before, every season prior to this, they've looked like a joke. But this season, they really mean business. Like, they really want to come out and get this Premier League title. I still think it's going to go to Manchester City. But the fight is appreciated because it gives a lot of drama and unexpected endings and fans appreciate that so arsenal keep winning i do think city still got it but you'll be all right let's get into just some of the things that i noticed in the game i'm not even going to go too deep into the tactics i'm just going to tell you what i saw that i thought really helped arsenal win this game players that stood out players that did their role effectively and players that went beyond their role that saved arsenal time and time again in this game aaron ramsdale i don't give that guy enough credit but he is truly Truly a fantastic goalkeeper. He should be challenging Nick Pope for England's number one spot. I don't think Jordan Pickford is good enough in that position anyway. I think it should be between Ramsdale and Nick Pope. Two keepers that we saw on, sh on display today. Cool. Now, besides Ramsdale, who made tremendous saves time and time again in this game, Granit Xhaka with that goal-saving block. That would have changed the whole entire landscape of the game. Because Newcastle, this game, were pressing. They were attacking. They were getting forward. But Arsenal's defense stayed rugged. Granite Xhaka just showed so much heart. Even when Newcastle players were starting to get a little dirty. You know, his temper, he's a hot-tempered player, but he kept it cool and he kept it professional. And I think that's partly, you know, a great part as to why Arsenal won this game. He stayed cool. He stayed level. He, he got back where he needed to. And that interception block, whatever you want to call it, from, um, I believe, uh, Joe Willick um, in the second half was just, it was game-saving. It was game-saving and it was game-changing. Granit Xhaka, and of course, Martin Odegaard, who has been seriously Arsenal's best player this season, in my opinion. He's so good. He's proving, ev he's proving to everybody why Real Madrid invested in him at such a young age. He's, he's actually extremely talented. And one day, he might just end up back at Real Madrid. But he loves playing for Arsenal. And you can see it every time he steps out on the pitch. You saw it at the full-time whistle when he was elated that Arsenal got the victory because they still believe... And they're still fighting for that Premier League title. And hey, that's what you should do. That's what you should do. Arsenal, man. Arsenal, I got to give it up to y'all. I got to. I have to. Now, thank you also for the win because, oh, Manchester United, we need this dub. Okay, we need the dub. And you just gave us the avenue to getting into third place where I predicted we would finish. And I still do. I still do. So Newcastle still want top four, and Liverpool's hot on our heels. They're hot on Newcastle's heels, they're hot on Manchester United's heels. They have a game in hand on Liverpool, while Manchester United, after this game, will also have a game in hand. So, uh, I don't know. It all comes down to experience for Newcastle. Can they survive? Can they outlast the fatigue of the season? Can they outlast the pressures of trying to make it into the top four? Because Liverpool, they look like they're back. They look like they've got it. Um, sorted out a little bit. They're getting back to where they want to be. So can Newcastle still hold on to that position? Can Manchester United win just until the end of the season? Just keep winning. Just keep winning. Don't even draw. Just win. Win. Arsenal, what do they have to do other than win? They, they have no choice. They have to win each and every game. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think Arsenal will catch up? I don't, but let me know if you do. And let me know what you thought about the game today and uh, the Manchester United game that's coming up. I'll definitely make a video on that. So I'll catch you guys very soon. Another double upload, whatever. And uh, if you made it this far, I really appreciate you. I really do. So have a good one.